A lot of people think about quitting their jobs and becoming traders. I'm talking today with someone who did just that, Al Brooks. Now, Al, you had a medical career, as I understand it, before you went into trading. How did you decide to make that switch? When I was at medical school at the University of Chicago, I had um, thoughts that maybe I should be downtown at the Merck or the Board of Trade. And throughout medical school, I just kept wondering, you know, am I doing the right thing? Um, and I decided I'm going to stick with medicine. So I did that for about 10 years. And then um, when I started having kids, I decided to uh, start um, to trade. And uh, I actually started trading the month of uh, the crash in 1987. And back then, um, I. I was trading pretty aggressively, and I shorted 13 uh, S&P futures contracts, which you know each S&P futures contract is five E mini, so it'd be like shorting whatever that is, 65 E mini contracts, and that was the morning of the crash. And uh, I had to go to work. I had a full surgery schedule, and I closed out uh, all my contracts, and I drove to work and heard that the stock market ended up down over 500 points, and that day if I held my contracts, I would have made $400,000 on, uh, uh, on that day in my first month of trading. I probably would have screwed up the trading because I was a beginner, but uh, it made me think that, yeah, I can, I can make money as a trader. And, um, you know, it's difficult to figure out how to transition. You know, I, you, I think anyone starting trading is going to lose money for several years. You know, you're looking for a career that pays a lot of money. Um, everyone trading wants to make a lot of money. You're competing against extremely smart people and it's essentially a zero-sum game. So you're trying to take money from really, really smart people who are trying to take money from you. And when you start out, they're going to win. You're going to lose money. And, um, it, but if you, if you have the discipline and you're careful and you learn how to be objective and you try not to be greedy, and you, you know, use um, stops, you use profit targets, um, I believe it's, a, it's something that you can do. But I would start really small and I would be, um, um, and I, I would be very humble and work very hard on uh, discipline and expect to lose for several years. And don't trade big and, um, you know, if you're starting to lose two or three trades in a, or in a row, uh, you know, have a, a set limit every day where you're going to shut it down. Should people transition into this in most cases rather than outright quitting their jobs and believing they will have a successful trading career right away? It depends. I think if a person has a big enough nest egg, they can quit their jobs and go right ahead. But if they don't, um, I would transition. And in transitioning, uh, either you can try to trade for an hour or two in the morning, and that's all you need. Uh, I have friends who only trade an hour a day and they make a living doing it. Um, but I would trade small and risk very little. I would trade um, high volume markets like uh, uh, the FAS or the FAZ uh, where um, you know, you're, you're not going to get slippage but you can, um, you know, you, you can stand, it trades the same as the major markets and you can, you know, you can, you can, you can, it's a very good way to learn without much risk. Great insights today, and I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate this. Thank you so much, Al. Thank you. This is the moneyshow.com video network.